graph the following functions, use the horizontal line test to determine whether each function is a one-to-one -one function. f of x is equal to 2x minus 5. Well, this is a linear function with slope 2 and y-intercept negative 5. So just rough sketch would give us something like this. If we're using the horizontal line test, that's all we need is a rough sketch. We don't need a perfect, precise graph. So now, the horizontal line test says, basically, take a horizontal line and pass it over that, that graph you've just drawn. At any time, does a horizontal line touch more than one point on the curve? Well, as I can see in this graph, you know, every horizontal line only touches the, the curve, the function, one time. So therefore, f of x is a one-to-one -one function. Let's consider g of x is equal to negative 0.5x squared plus 15x plus 10. Now we know that this is a parabola since we have a quadratic function. So the graph is a parabola opening down with a little bit of work we can find the vertex is at 15 122.5 and so that's back from chapter 4 alright so let's just get a rough sketch of this curve so we would have a parabola opening down vertex at 15 122.5 so let's say that there's the vertex at 15 122.5 and let's draw a parabola. Again, we're not worried too much about scale here. If all we need to do is determine if it's a one-to-one -one function. We don't worry too much about scale. So let's take a horizontal line and pass it over the curve. So notice that that horizontal line touches the curve at more than one point. And again, there are many horizontal lines that I can pass over the curve that touch the curve at more than one point. So once you take, once you see a horizontal line that hits more than one point on the curve, you immediately know that that function is not one to one. So this function, g of x, is not a one to one function. consider example C where we're given f of x is equal to 2.6 by 1.8 to the x. This is an exponential function. And since a is positive and b is greater than 1, it is above the x-axis and increasing. So a rough sketch would give you something like this. Now again, take horizontal lines, pass them over the curve. Only hits once, only hits once, only hits once once. All right, so from what we can see, any horizontal line that I pass over the curve only touches the curve once. Now we might get concerned over here towards the left, because remember when we talk about exponential functions, we say that it flattens out on one side. It flattens out, but it's never completely flat. This function is always increasing. Now far to the left, it's increasing very slightly, but it is still increasing. So therefore, 
this function f of x is a one-to-one -one function. Exercise D, h of x is negative three. This is a horizontal line. And we can get a rough sketch of it. h of x is negative three looks like that. Now, if I take a horizontal line and pass over and pass it over, well, it doesn't hit any points, no points, no points. It doesn't hit any points except when it's exactly negative three, and then it touches all of the points on the line. And so therefore this function h of x is not a one-to-one -one function.